With an ever-growing urban and rural economy, there had been great clamor for diversification of Nigeria's economy and a deliberate national drive to promote agriculture as a business, which makes agriculture account for about 23% of the country's GDP. Incidentally, the poultry subsector contributes over 20% of the total livestock and fisheries shares of agriculture's GDP, which makes agriculture a huge contributor to the nation's gross domestic earnings. However, the poultry subsector is still subjected to a lot of challenges. This special report focuses on the intricacies of poultry farming in Nigeria, how agricultural policies affect the business of poultry farming and the impact the ban which was recently lifted will have on the poultry farming business in Nigeria. Even with the increased focus on poultry farming, the poultry subsector has experienced a lot of challenges over the years which has impacted the business. I think when we are talking about the challenges of poultry in Nigeria, the challenges are so enormous. But to highlight a few of it, like in recent time, we had a COVID-19 pandemic, which really hit the industry so greatly that some of the farms were closed. We also have this cash crunch of a cashless policy of CBN, which also uh, posed a lot of threats to the industry that many farms were closed down, especially in FCT here. Even uh, more so, with the recent lifting of ban on poultry items, what sort of impact would this have on the industry, positive or negative? The idea of uh, lifting the ban on this poultry product, uh, I wouldn't say it's a bad one, but it has its attending negative impact on the production in the country. If the ban is being lifted, it will affect the local production actually. Most of those uh, imported products, we can't ascertain the level of, you know, uh, health safety. Okay. Okay. Yes, in, in it, because most of them, you don't know how they have been preserved over time before they have been imported into the country. The state of emergency declared uh, on uh, food security is a very laudable uh, program of uh, His Excellency President Bola Amatinubu. As a fast developing subsector that contributes over 20% of agricultural GDP, what developmental policies and action plan are being put in place to build the poultry industry? There are a lot of policies and programs but as we as we always experience the implementation is always the problem because even in FCT here I have worked directly with the animal husbandry development we came up with a good policy and what are the key issues that needs to be addressed to secure continued growth for Nigeria's poultry industry the key things that need to be you know put in place first of all most of these um, farmers need funds for those in the sector because most times we also want to assess credit facility, the, the term and the condition are not too favorable. The road to most of these farms are very bad that hamper the, you know, the success that ordinarily the farmers would have achieved. In a recent interview, the Minister of Agriculture, Senator Abubakar Kari, expressed readiness by the ministry to tackle challenges faced by poultry farmers as well as challenges of food security. In corroboration with the President's declaration of a state of emergency on food security. In mere mentioning in his renewed agenda, renewed hope agenda, that I also see that hope, that commitment in him when he declared the food emergency in the country on the first day. However, in what practical ways will these drastic measures effectively revive the nation's food and agricultural sector? Well, that remains to be seen by Nigerians. Chidima Jawasin, Global TV News.